Recently, we here at Evening received a letter. It reads, Dear Evening, how do you guys come up with such neat stories? And how do you make them? Just wondering. Sincerely, Bobby Hoagland, age 10. Well, Bobby, our stories start off as ideas on little bits of paper, much like the letter that you wrote. They go to our idea warehouse. The good ideas are lighter, and they float to the top, where we can draw them off. We just want the best so that you can have the best. These are the story ideas we're considering for today. The life of Mother Teresa, how to end all wars, a cure for AIDS, or Twiggy the skiing squirrel. Now, which one will we choose? Well, it all depends, because a good evening story has certain important qualities. What are they? Let's ask the producers. An evening story is promotable. An evening story is a people story. An evening story is memorable. An evening story has cute animals. So now that we've decided which story to do, we turn it over to our team of crack photographers. Excuse me, Rob, can we, pardon me, can we, let's, can we just like, yeah, let's just do this. I just want to get to lunch, okay? Come on, let's, let's hurry up and do this, okay? Squirrels, those fluffy garden friends of ours. Who would have thought that in this age of water skiing, that, <laughs> Ralph, come on, man. Let's do this and let's get to, you know, let's get to lunch, okay? Squirrels. Who would have thought that those fluffy garden friends of ours would, in this day of water, Ralph! And in here is where the raw material gets honed into finely crafted works of art by this guy. This guy's great. Blake, over here, look. No, no, look, see? We're doing like a thing. Anyway, how's the story going well, so far? Well, there's no content. It's not funny. I, you, it, this thing stinks. Look at this thing. This is no good. Oh. Uh, just can't you just just make it do some music? Well. No, no, no. Just make it. Yeah. See? See that makes it good. Yeah. Uh, he can do it. This guy's a magician. What a jerk. Just look all right. Yep. Fix your mic. Now that the story is all done, it's time to let our yeah. hosts know about it. Looks it. good. Right, ready? Okay. Brian, we're in segment three now. This is Keister's story about the squirrel that water skis, and we're, mm -hmm. we're starting to lose light. Okay, so, can just... so we got to hurry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll just wing it. Looks simple. Okay. Our next story is about a squirrel. Now, this is not just any ordinary yeah, let's, squirrel. Let's do it again. That sounded kind of like a documentary intro. This is a funny thing. So if you, if you can both be laughing when yeah, we start into but it. But wait a minute. I've never even seen the story because we got the script at the very last minute. Is well, there? Just, just what do you mean a documentary? It's not a documentary? No, it's a funny story. Just just, just read what's on there, but just be laughing Listen, when you do it. Okay? Is there anything sexist in here? Because if there is, no. I can't wait introduce hold it. it. Hold it. Wait a minute. This is a water skiing squirrel? What I mean, does it, does it water ski on one foot? Or Why do yeah. you need to know does that? Just slalom? read the lines. Does it wear it's a right? wetsuit? It doesn't yeah. make any difference. Just read what's well, on the screen. What kind of boat is it in? Wait a Is this the only squirrel in the world that does It doesn't matter. What do you mean? And that, Bobby, is how stories are done on evening. Introduce a story. We don't know what's going on. We're really not doing. It's really important for us to know what's going on. You know, come on, yeah.